So what would possess someone to return the perfect guitar for them and then pick up something that was less than half the price? My name's Tristan Rivers, and I'll tell you why I picked up this Jackson TY27 and why the Jackson X series might just be the next guitar for you. So what I've put together is what I always like to do whenever I demo something is I've got a little bit of a jam going on here where I'm going to show off a few of the different tones you can get out of the instrument. So there'll be some uh, clean stuff, uh, both rhythms and leads. There'll be some distorted things, both rhythms and leads. And I'll just kind of put it all together. Everything that you hear will be this guitar stock right out of the box other than, of course, a fresh set of strings on here. And it will be going through my Kemper. There's going to be a few different profiles going on there. Some dirty tones, some clean tones, a few little effects here or there. But it'll give you a good idea of uh, what this guitar can really do. So the story goes like this. Basically, I'm an Ibanez nut. I don't like to admit my biases under most circumstances, and I try not to be biased whenever I'm, I'm judging some product. But Ibanez RGs, they're my favorite, and I love playing seven string guitar. Basically, I've always wanted something with a maple board that's a seven string, and ideally an Ibanez RG. And uh, here in Canada, that's not something that you can easily come by. So when something finally came out from Ibanez, I snapped it up, and it was great, except for the fact that it was one of the Ibanez premium models, and it's still kind of living in that mid-range realm of guitars. So there, there were some quality issues that were inexcusable on a guitar that's about $2,000 here. So I returned it, and then later on in the year, um, I was at Quest Music in Winnipeg here, and there was a bunch of Jackson guitars being unboxed. So uh, I, I say to my friend Sam, who was working there at the time, pulling these out, don't 
pull out anything that I'm gonna like because I don't want to spend my money today. Lo and behold, uh, Sam pulled out this thing. This Jackson TY27. And uh, it looked really cool, so I decided to uh, play it for uh, some of the guitar lessons I was teaching there that day. I immediately kind of fell in love with it for what it was. So what makes this guitar essentially worth buying on a whim? First of all, for me, just right away, I've got myself a seven string guitar with a maple fretboard. It gives me that sound that I was exactly looking for from it. Just kind of a more brighter, kind of snappier tone uh, out of one of my seven string guitars. <laughs> So, it fills that need right away. For me, it, that's an instant win right there. Uh, being the Jackson X series, what's very interesting about it is they put a lot of their high-end uh, ideas that you'd expect from the USA Jacksons into these very affordable mid-range instruments. So, uh, for under $1,000, I ended up with this guitar that's uh, got neck through construction. Um, the actual feel of the neck, to be honest, is, is very close to the USA Jacksons that I own or play. The way that the neck is shaped, uh, the fact it's got a compound radius, really comfortable, it all points in the neck, on the fretboard. Yeah, the guitar is made out of basswood instead of, you know, alder or something like that. But you still have like the maple neck going through the whole thing. The hardware is not bad too. I mean, obviously, it's it's not really high-end stuff. The pickups are just Jackson branded pickups. But to be honest, they sound good enough that I'm not immediately wanting to swap these pickups out. I want to sort of get over the honeymoon phase of this guitar first, and then I'll worry about trying to make it sound better. Because truthfully, it probably can. But the pickups themselves are, are pretty decent. I mean, they've got enough output. They've got enough character to them. I love the, the neck pickups got sort of that chirpy attack to it. <coughs> Sort of my favorite sound if you're using the neck pickup. I don't like something that's too smooth or kind of fizzy. I want something that's got some attack to it. The tuners, they, they feel pretty good too. They're a little weak feeling compared to regular Grovers or, or Godos or something like that, but they're still, you know, very usable. It's not like I'm having trouble tuning this thing with them. The nut doesn't have any serious issues despite the fact that the Jackson headstock is really really bad for for string angles so you know all in all this guitar it, it hits on all the points that are important however I mean there are some some flaws to this in fact this guitar is the flaw that uh, the Ibanez guitar that I returned had and that was just the frets aren't finished too terribly nice on the sides it plays really smooth so the actual fret job on it's nice in that respect but you can feel the fret ends they're a little pokey so a two thousand dollar ibanez guitar that's not ex it's not excusable you can't do that on a guitar that's under a thousand bucks like this i can live with that you know what i can throw a couple bucks at it to get the the frets finished nicely or i could even do it myself i, I don't feel too concerned about uh, trying to work on a guitar that's uh, not hugely expensive. If you have any questions or something you'd like to add on the Jackson X series or specifically the Jackson TY27, please leave a comment down below. I love to read them and you know what, I'll actually have some time to answer them finally now that I'm able to do this on a regular basis. Um, so if you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up. If you think I'm an idiot, <laughs> give it a thumbs down. Um, and yeah, since I'm here much more regularly, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos because I will be putting much more up. Uh, I guess that's it for this week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.